guys. So I can't really say good morning because it's already 4.05. Uh, I have been gone all morning. I had a couple of meetings this morning and I just didn't vlog before I left. So I just came home really quickly to let Nala out and to make sure she had water and I gave her a little dental bone and I'm now gonna go out uh, and go check to see if the other Walgreens has the rest of the lipsticks and I'll probably check the other one we went to last night uh, and see if they got any more in like overnight or whatever. I think it's a 24 hour store so hopefully they'll have some. Hopefully they did some uh, you know stocking last night <laughs> and then um, I also need to run to Aldi and get a cup, Aldi and probably Meyer to get a couple of more things just to put into the fridge and have stocked in there. I would like to go to Costco and get a couple of things, but we'll see if we do that tonight or not. But I'm planning on starting Whole30 uh, tomorrow, I believe. I have been really thinking about it and I just, I'm gonna share things here a lot about Whole30, but I just don't think I'm gonna like obsess about sharing because that's the whole point that I wanna do it. Like I just don't want to obsess about anything. I don't wanna obsess with uh, you know, feeling like I have to share everything, but of course, I know there's some of you guys that are doing it as well, uh, and so I want to, you know, share ideas, but I just don't want it to be everything having to do with this vlog. Uh, I don't know. I just don't work well that way, you know? As I've told you guys before, I gotta figure out that balance, and I can't just be, like, freaked out about food or, like, feeling like not only do I have to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do, but also share it, so... I don't know, I hope you guys will understand that and I'm gonna obviously do my best to give my best tips because I know that for some of you this is your first time. I'm pretty excited to get started but it's one of those things where you have to kind of get rid of things in your pantry and so we've kind of just been trying to eat things out. Like I have some cheese that I'd like to get rid of tonight. I think I'm gonna do some like cauliflower breadsticks but yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. I'm gonna share whatever I can, but this entire vlog isn't gonna just be about that, you know? I'll probably be going to the store a lot over the next, you know, month or whatever because I just like to buy things every so often, especially when it's fresh food. So I'll probably be going to the store like every other day. So you guys will be coming along with me every time. I also wanted to say one more thing about Whole30 as I was driving, I was thinking about this, but I just, I don't know, I feel like, you know, Whole30 is awesome, especially if you're doing this for the first time, but I need to get back into doing like Whole every day, you know? And again, like I've said before, Whole30 isn't necessarily super low carb, but you know, you're gonna be eating carbs from things that are nutritious, you know, like they're nutrients for your body. So. You know, for me, I'm like, yes, it's a whole 30, but I want this to be a whole every day, and I want this to be the way that I live, you know? My carbs are coming from, uh, you know, nutritious things that fuel my body and repair my body from the inside out. So I just like, yes, it's 30 days, but I guess I just don't want to obsess about that either because what's the point of doing the whole 30 and then on the 31st day you just go and like eat a whole pizza or something, you know? And I mean, I actually never did that right after the 30 days. Like I eased back into it. Like I followed the directions on, you know, seeing what works and what doesn't like dairy and uh, gluten and all that. Like you kind of reintroduce it. I want to look at this as I'm getting back into this as a whole everyday thing so I can literally fuel my body from the inside out. And I'll tweak where I need to tweak, but it's just, I just don't want to obsess. And I, I mean, I've been there and done that so many times in my life. You know, I'm sure some of you guys can understand that and other people are like, what are you talking about? And that's okay, like you don't have to understand. I have just learned what works and what doesn't for, you know, my body and mostly for my mind. Uh, and I just know that a lower carb, you know, more real food, diet, I guess, I like to say lifestyle, is the way that I like to live. So this is a nice jump start for that as long as I don't get obsessive. And I'm sure that there are a lot of you that feel the same way about your own life. So maybe look into it if, if that's something that you're looking for. Like you just want to live like a more whole lifestyle, you know, when it comes to food. You're fueling from the inside out. And I think that's so important. It's really important for me. And it's also really important as I implement that back into my life that I just don't go nutso, you know? Well, it's starting to snow, so I better hurry up and get in there and see if they have it. If they don't, I'm just gonna go uh, to the other one really quickly, go to the grocery store and head home, because I do not want to be out in this crap. 
it's a no-go. I already have these three. I was looking around at a bunch of the stuff in there and the security guard was like staring at me and all of the people that were in the beauty area and I'm just like, I mean, Honestly though, I get it. I'm sure there's people that like steal or do stupid stuff like open up those lipsticks and try them or take them or whatever they did. But like, luckily those those open ones from last night were not there anymore. The lady took them down last night, but I just felt so awkward in there. I was like, I felt like I was doing something wrong and I was just looking, you know? So it was kind of weird. But I'm gonna head to the other Walgreens now and hopefully I I can find them or at least find a couple of the shades. So I decided I'm going to make some cauliflower breadsticks today just to kind of get the, the cheese out of here before Whole30. But these are the Green Giant Fresh Cauliflower Crumbles. You can just use a head of cauliflower if that's what you have, but I of course always have crumbles. It just makes it so, so much easier. And then I have the Organic Mots, uh, this Parmesan that I got from the Italian store, an egg, and some garlic lovers. I'm just gonna mix it all up. I will put the little video recipe that I found on Facebook down below for you guys. Okay, this is what it looks like. I have it on this like little Silpat mat. I also wanted to remind you guys that a bag of cauliflower crumbles is equal to one head of cauliflower. So I actually just halved this recipe because I didn't wanna make a whole one um, because we just don't need that for two people. So I halved everything in this recipe, but if you want to make like if you're making it for your whole family or whatever then you could use the whole bag or the whole head of cauliflower and it works really well so i've made this before i mean it's basically the same thing as making cauliflower crust pizza but there's just always a little bit of tweaking that you can do if you want to but it smells really good so i'm going to pop it in the oven at 425 and i'll show you guys when it's done and here we are with the finished product guys it's not too like moist you know so it, it crisped up really nicely which is perfect and i'm excited to try it oh my gosh i thought they were so good i will say this to you guys because i think it's real it's important when you're making like cauliflower crust or breadsticks or whatever you have to like squeeze out the water in the cauliflower because if you don't they just it's hard to explain but it's just like mushy and it's not gonna taste good it's gonna taste too much like cauliflower you know i mean there's always going to be that little bit of cauliflower taste but it's all about the way you season it and i feel like cauliflower takes on flavors of what it's with you know so it'll taste cheesy and garlicky if that's what you add um so it's really all about that if you have the right flavors you'll be good to go and use a cheesecloth they're like a dollar or less at target and walmart and stuff and you can squeeze out the um crumbles so actually the recipe that i use that i'm going to put down below uh it didn't even say to like cook the cauliflower before you baked it but what i did is i just like heated it up for about three minutes in the microwave uh just to like get those flavors rolling because I didn't want it to be hard I mean I don't you don't want it to be too soft and you don't want it to be too hard but I didn't want like uncooked cauliflower you know so I heated mine up for about three minutes in the microwave before I put it into the oven and mix everything together but it was really good it's a really good recipe simple easy to make and if you wring out that water you'll be good to go I just have to mention this one more time and then I won't mention it again I promise but we are starting the diet bet today when you're watching this it's today so if you want to get signed up please do we're gonna have well over eleven thousand dollars in the pot by the time it starts so hopefully you guys will come join us the link is below or just send me your email address and i'll send you the email invite i promise it is not too late to get signed up and it's going to be a really 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 great month i don't think i showed you guys this but i'm sure you kind of saw it yesterday in the vlog but i did move up this uh sparkly background to this room just for now until we can figure out like the noise in the basement and everything but I gotta figure it out when I'm doing my my actual like sit down videos because it did not look good in the one the other day. Alex, tell them what you just did. I went to Walgreens. Yes. And I scoured the makeup <laughs> section. The only man doing so. And I looked for the Wet n Wild Catsuit Liquid Lipsticks. Again, for two days in a row. And he found the six other ones! Babe, I looked everywhere for these today. He went to one on his way home and he found them. 
So I'm definitely gonna do this lip swatch video tonight. Are you the freaking best? <laughs> Thank you so much. I love you. I'm currently doing this lip swatch video. I'm like seven shades in, so I really, 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 really like this formula, but as soon as I'm done with everything, I'll explain it to you guys. I just love it. So I have to tell you guys about these lipsticks. I love them. I love this formula. I mean, this is my favorite shade. It's called Nice to Fuchsia, I think. Uh, and I put all of the different shades on my lips, and then I put this one back on to just like show you guys. Look at this. I'm touching it, touching it, nothing's coming off. And it's not super dry. I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, I removed all of my, all the different shades. So you'd think that my lips would be just completely torn up right now, but they're just not. And, but it lasts, like it's crazy. I just kissed Alex and it didn't, it didn't come off on him. I mean, it's crazy. I haven't eaten with it yet, but I love these. I can't believe they're $5. I just, I can't. It's unbelievable. You need to go get them. Like, these are going to sell out at like all of these Walgreens. I'm sure of it. And then the other thing I just had to show you because a couple people have asked, but people have been asking about this foundation. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And I got the shade Peach Natural. Um, and like I said, it was five bucks and I've been wearing it for the last four days and I love it. I feel like it really, really, really reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation that is $40. Uh, and as you guys know, I have dry skin and this works well for me. I mean, I wanna keep testing it out, make sure that there's no breakouts and everything, but I really like this. I, again, can't believe it's $5 because even drugstore stuff now is, you know, $15 for foundation. So the fact that this is cruelty free and also five bucks, I mean, everybody needs to go get them. And when I was looking for the lip lipsticks today, they had all the shades restocked at my Walgreens. So I know that I think Walgreens is really keeping up on that. So I'm just spending time getting this edited tonight. Look at my face there. What am I doing? I look mad, <laughs> but I love this shade. That's my second favorite shade, I think. So nice. So I'm gonna do this for, to upload, I don't know, maybe tomorrow? I don't know, maybe just a day that I don't end up vlogging, but it's about nine minutes long. So it's not too long, but I did all 12 and I just love them. I'm just gonna end this here tonight, guys. We have to get up early tomorrow. Well, Alex does. His exam's at 8 a.m. Uh, and he's going to try to leave here around 6.45 and go get coffee and get there early and everything. And I just have a feeling that when he gets up, I'm getting up too because I'll just be thinking about it all morning and probably be worried. Not worried that he's not going to pass or anything. I really believe that he will, but even if he doesn't, it's okay. I just know that like that test taking feeling and I don't want him to have that feeling. So I hope I can take his worry and he can be calm, cool, and collected like he always is. So oh, thank you guys so much for all the prayers and stuff about it. It's really, really, really exciting. And I know that no matter what, even if it doesn't go well this time, next time it will. So anyways, we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and I love you all.